Good morning, students. My name is Reverend Father Dr. Paul Martin Obai. This is lesson two in Magazine Management and Production, Mark 332, Godfrey Okoye University. In case you are new to this, my channel, I will refer you to my previous lectures in this channel. We have handled so many topics. Today we are continuing with planning. Planning in magazine production is very necessary. If one does not plan, actually uh, you will be making a grave mistake and a lot of things will elude your greed. Any project one handles, definitely there should be planning on the table. In planning the magazine, it is the duty of the editor to keep the advertising department on the know. This will help both of them to have a meeting point. The reason being that the advert unit will like to have as many adverts as possible, while the editor will like to have as many editorial matters as possible. Both of them cannot have their way in a particular publication. The only way out is to keep each other on the note so that a meeting point can be reached before the publication is released. Furthermore, it should be noted that every magazine needs advance to survive the stiff competition market and uh, in this case it will be necessary that other personnel are briefed about the content of the upcoming issue so that they can use it to canvas for more adverts. The planning stage of magazine is a very serious matter that is and that is the reason editors do not play with anything called planning. In like manner, public relations. The public relation is another important aspect of the editor's job. It is one of his duties. He must engage in maintaining good relationship between the magazine and the stakeholders and the publics. So, if there is any misconstruement or any, any, any misunderstanding, misunderstanding between the publics and the company, it is the duty of the editor who acts in persona, the person of the public relations officer, to create and bring the relationship into. Uh, an understandable level. It is also the duty of the editor to go out and see what is happening in the world of magazine and in the society at large. He has to form time to time meet with the dignitaries and sell the image of the magazine to them and speak persuasively in such a way that he will create good image about himself. So, uh, the public relations is all about creating good image of the magazine. Case people speak um, bad words and also try to misrepresent uh, the magazine in a dark light. It is due to the public relations, uh, relations officer and then uh, acting as the editor who then can modify, explain to the people, and then enunciate, bring forward what will make the people understand actually the level and then the, the, the intention and also all the, 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 the mission and vision of this uh, magazine. And that will help to bring the image to limelight and then correct any misconception by the public which also will facilitate 
the purchasing of the products. Furthermore, uh, in uh, there are staff in a magazine establishment, and these the staff size in any magazine establishment is a function of one amount of work to be done, two the level of efficiency desired. Editors have found out that a staff strength of about six to twelve workers can work very efficiently for a very small magazine without infringing into another person's job. This will allow them to be creative as much as possible without problem or work clash. Magazine outfit do not really have to look the same because it is a highly individualistic process. The system in one magazine outfit might or not suit the style of the other magazine established. That's an in-house style. Invariably, there are, it should be organized to suit the style and individual characteristics of the editor. We also see in their contributions, there is no way the staff of a magazine outfit can write the entire story of a given publication. It has to be done with the help of other contributors. You see, these people will write and send to the outfit for publication of the article, given that it meets the merit of the magazine. There are others that are paid to do job of writing. These people are called freelancers. They do not work permanently for the media, but have their stories or articles sent to the media for publication. They are freelancers. Some of these contributors are experts in their given areas and form good writers in a given specialty. They really aid the quality of materials that go to press at the end of the day. Who are the members of staff? A small monthly magazine may find it efficient to have between 6 to 12 key staff, which include the following. Editor or executive editor, art director, managing editor, editorial secretary, article editors or senior editors, copy editor, Production manager. These people are actually working together to give the magazine to the required standard and taste and acceptable in the society. Who are the managing editors? The managing editor uh, is in, in, involved in the long range planning scheduling and administration managing editor while the managing editor is concerned with the day-to-day -day and moment-to-moment -moment activities necessary in in the uh, next issue publication of next issue in essence the managing editor is in charge of per per perceiving the nitty-gritty of a single issue to make sure it gets pressed and on a time and at the right time and comes out at the uh, appointed moments. While the editor is responsible for thinking ahead of the paper, like looking at the three to six subsequent publications and issues to cover in them. The managing editor is, responsible, is also responsible in making sure that current publication is published at the end of the day. It is only when this is done that the managing editor turns to the editor and asks, Sir, what next? Yes, it is only at this point that you can ask, what next? This will now bring us to editorial process. Has anybody any question to ask? 
Well, prior to that, let us briefly touch on this issue, editorial process. So that you can call your questions together. Here, in the editorial process, we are going to consider the technical side of the editor's job. It is within the editorial process that all the technical functions are performed. It is a known fact that the editor's job is complicated. It is in the editorial process that the complex nature of the editor's job is revealed. These include procurement of uh, content, illustrations, production, mailing if majority of your readers are subscribers. In this editorial process continued, it means in the procurement section, the most important content in a magazine is the text. That is the written words that fill the pages of the magazine. They are the most important thing. Therefore, it is the duty of the editor to determine where the information needed will come from. Will it come from the staff or written contributors? In the illustration, illustration helps to elucidate through more light in what one has written. Like if you write about three to four fields of content, it will look bulky and also uh, bottom if there is no illustration that in time. Uh, slotted between the pages to at least give a room or a to the reader. Also, no production. This is the period of seeing a magazine through a printing process. There are four steps that are taken into consideration in getting a magazine ready for publication, and it, these include processing the manuscript. That's copy reading. This involves reading the text for possible correction. Two, type styling, checking out for the numbers, copy fitting, making sure that the copy text fits the space allocated to it. Paging. This is when the editor decides what content to go into the magazine or not. No matter how few the articles, the editor must make a decision. The layout. This is laying out the pages. A layout here is a plan designed to show, in this case, the physical appearance of a page. It specifies the size and position of the page of each picture and of other visual elements. The sizes and the placement of hertz that is in the print title of the features. The position and amount of space required for each uh, blob, the number of printed lines of text and their position on the page. The size and position of the byline or author's name if there is any. Handling the proofs. When the manuscripts have been processed, the issue, the, the issue pages and layout made, the editor sends a copy with illustrations and uh, dummies to his uh, printer for setting into time. In due time, he receives proofs of these uh, pages showing how each looks in time. He is now able to check all his editorial decision to date to see how accurate, balanced, and reasonable his uh, judgments have been. Then some mailing is also an editorial process. You have reached, at this point, you have reached the end of editorial process. Your book is now ready to be sent to the subscribers. The mailing date of a magazine is the printing time towards which 
the whole process has been flooding. The editor has been directing his energies, scheduling his work on those various jobs so that the printing issue will come from press on appointed date. Otherwise, many will be disappointed and it will be a kind of countdown on your work. We might take up the managing managing the editorial routine and skeleton. This goes to tell us it is now clear that one of the editorial duties is managing editorial routine. If it does all the work himself as it is the case with very small magazines, he has only himself to supervise. But he may have one or more assistants whose work must be timed and coordinated so that there will be a, a minimum of uh, bottlenecks in the routine. Either way, whether the operation is small or large, specific dates are set on which each step in the process should be completed. These dates are called deadlines or schedules and every well-run editorial office is serious with the deadlines. Scheduling, as we have already said, simply stands that the different deadlines by which editorial processes can be completed. It is very important to the publisher of a magazine. Each edition of the magazine has a completion date, that is, its end of the line date. For the edition to come out as planned, the entire work must pass through its stopping point on time. Every schedule begins with planning unless it is scheduled essential planning is likely to be neglected, the rush to meet other deadlines. To be fruitful, schedules must be individualized to meet with the particular month, not to allow it to spill over to the next month, otherwise there will be an interruption. It might be quarterly, monthly, and so if the scheduling is not proper, then it means it will spill over and then spoil the usual known date of its outcome. This means that the publication for the month of January must be properly scheduled and so will all the months follow for a magazine that is published monthly. In the scheduling process, the days of the month is a sign period for a given task. Example, Preliminary planning section, you might take for instance, we're in the month of May, you may say next tomorrow, May 10. Preliminary planning section, May 10. Specific planning section, May 14. Just try to apportion. Assigning what to write to people, May 17. Time to return the articles, May 25. Editing manuscript and illustrations May 27 to 30. Sending of copy to the printer June 4. Gallery proof from printer June 10. Gallery proof corrections and returned June 15. Paid proof from printer June 20. Paid proof approved and returned to printer June 25. Issue completed and collection June 30. At this point, I wish to thank you for paying attention and would refer you to the uh, Director of Academic Planning of Godfrey Okoye University for other details, and especially this channel, so that you can always revise and then be occurring with uh, these very particular 
course magazine management and production very necessary since it is very practical and also lucrative in the sense of professional job seeking so your next class we will be meeting to take off with qualifications and skills required of a magazine editor so you might be one thank you remain blessed